Oh, m money, money. Why you want to do that to me? Why you leave me hanging? The first time Kennedy and I met Phil Knight, we introduced ourselves, and he said hello. And he said, I want you two to know one thing. I do not believe in advertising. Bo knows baseball. Bo knows basketball, too. Bo knows tennis? No. Phil has always been a guy who wants something authentic. So he didn't want to show fashion models. He wanted to show athletes, people who actually use the product. Phil always had one philosophy, and it was a good one. Always put me in a commercial. Otherwise, it would suck. He always just believed that speaking the voice of the athlete, listening to the voice of the athlete, would be the keys to the kingdom. It would be the start of a very powerful conversation. Is it the shoes? No, Mom. <gasps> Renell, go! Phil didn't want to sell you something. He wanted to help you be something. Phil just wanted Nike ads to move people. Some of it's quite compelling and sometimes controversial, but it's real. I think that Phil actually loved the idea of doing something that was totally unexpected. As a matter of fact, every time I misbehave, I could count on a phone call from Phil saying, keep doing the same thing. I am not a role model. I'm not paid to be a role model. Sometimes the most outrageous thing you can do is something really, truly honest. For Phil, sport is something that unifies us all. So the idea that something like racism would be an issue for an athlete would therefore be an issue that Phil would feel very comfortable communicating about. If you let me play sports, I would like myself more. I'll have more self-confidence if you let me play sports. It's interesting that Nike was introduced to the world the same year that Title IX became law. And we've been fighting for the athletes' rights ever since. Dad told me I couldn't be a boxer. He said I was too small. There was a guy who tried to spit on me and then push me out of his way. For Phil, if you have a body, you're an athlete. You just don't know it yet. Nike's grounded in the relationship we have with the athlete. I think that's what makes Nike advertising stand out. It makes what we have to say real and relevant and meaningful. I think Phil believed really deep down that if you do this right, advertising and communicating, telling something really provocatively, can actually change somebody's life. Just want to play ball. <laughs>